Barnet one, Gates head one. I'm joined by Gaffer Dean Brennan. Dean, thanks for joining me. What were your thoughts on the game? They're a good side. I said to you before, they're a good side. Uh, we felt it was important that we didn't get beat today to keep that momentum, that unbeaten run going. So um, uh, to go behind, I thought we were a little bit lucky to go behind. We had some really good chances to start the second half. Uh, Beardy had to come out because he was early. He, was, he wasn't feeling well, so he had to come out at half time. We had to change the system with that as well. We got Moyo on and. We had some glorious chances, really. Um, so, look, for us to be one down and to come back in the manner we did is, is, is a good sign. Dan Powell obviously started at the uh, beginning of the game. What was your thoughts behind that? Yeah, I thought Powell could have rolled there because their full-backs get really tight. I thought he could have rolled them in them areas in, in, uh, as a word forward. Uh, he did too much walk defensively. Um, he needed to run the lad the other way. But, um, look, he did OK. He's been out a long time, so it's a, it's a good 60 minutes under his belt. Fair enough, absolutely. Gateshead came here, they obviously had a game plan, they were tough, we discussed it on Friday, they were really tough to play against. What did your team not necessarily do that you wanted them to do to beat this team? I think we defended solid enough, you know, against a side that are very good going forward. We just, we had the opportunities to win the game, we missed too many chances. It's a good sign creating opportunities, we just missed too many clear chances. Three headers, keeper dropped the ball, Moyo's got a score, he hits him with it again. Nicky gets in down the side with a great pass from Hawley, he's got a, well, he's got a hit the target. It's the side net, and so we just had the chances to win the game. We didn't take them. Nicky obviously scored with about three or four minutes to go of the 90. What was your thoughts on the goal? Yeah, good finish. Uh, Fox in the box goal. That's his third goal like that. Uh, his last three goals have all been sort of poachers' goals. Uh, he finished that one really well, to be fair. He was in the right place at the right time, so good finish by him. But he could have had a hat-trick today, really. He had some glorious opportunities. but And in the end, that's probably what's cost us the three points. Very vocal on the touchline as usual. What was your thoughts on the ref's performance? There are a couple of moments which may or may not have gone our way. We just want referees to do it right. I know Jacob a long time uh, and he's a solid referee, but just do it right. Like the right back at the end, it's a clear yellow card. I understand, I get it, but he's on the second booking. And obviously, tactically, we're, we're trying to get Idris at that right back because he's been booked already. So just do it right. Uh, simple as that. And they've added four minutes. There was head injuries. We'd winter down with a head injury. Oh, we both made subs. Um, I don't know where they got the four minutes from. For me, it's minimum six minutes, but look, I ain't going to blame a referee about the, uh, the performance or the result. Performance was going back and forth. Performance was solid, um, and we had enough chances to win the game when we didn't take them. Simple as that, and full credit to Gateshead. They got good patterns, uh, and I thought their nine was outstanding. He was a problem all day for us. So, look, it's a, it's a point we respect, and we just move on to the next game. 17 out of your last 21 points taken. You've got to be happy with that. Yeah, delighted, yeah, yeah. I would snap your hands off for that. When you're on these type of runs, it's important you just you keep that momentum. We've had a lot go on, sort of December, you know, the, the winter month, so, you know, with the weather and stuff like that, the frost. For us, the main thing now is to just move on to the next game and hopefully we can keep a clean bit of health. Hopefully Beardy's OK. Uh, we've got some options. Harley come on, made a good impact on the game again. So did Marv, so, um, yeah, just like I say, get a full week in next week and then I think we've got... I think it's 11 games or 12 games in six weeks, so it's going to be a busy schedule. It is a big, busy schedule, and now we're done with the league for a couple of weeks. We go into the FA Trophy. Great chance. You've got to have some luck in the FA Trophy. But we go to Sully Hall. What are you going to be preparations-wise regarding Sully Hall? Very similar. So is Sully Hall, the Gateshead, to be fair. They play the same system. Um, got a lot of good players, very experienced manager. I don't know how they got on today, so we'll, restart, we'll start researching them sort of Tuesday time. And then uh, it's nice to have a full week to go into the game, so the pitch is excellent up there. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to the game. Busy weekend ahead for you? Yeah, very busy. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, thanks for joining me. Cheers.